Hi there. Welcome to Monday, episode 21 of the New Day One Show. Yeah, I hope you had a really nice weekend. Um, we're going to do a little short, short message and a little short little snippet of one of my original songs. Um, before we get to the music, though, I do want to talk to you about something that's very important on my heart. It is basically having a low footprint. And what do I mean by that? Well, um, to have a low footprint on the earth means you consume less. To have a high footprint on the earth means you've got huge houses and huge cars and many, many cars and many, many boats and many, many technologies and you replace it all every year, you know. And um, that person is, really all of us are consumers and, and we're, we're overt consumers and that is what's driving industry. It's not necessarily their fault that they're fracking the earth or that they're tearing down rainforest for energy. Um, we are driving the industry through our consumption. So uh, I have some encouragement for today, and that is to reduce your low, to reduce your footprint, especially as things begin to come back to normal, uh, or at least begin to open up again. Uh, just drive less. See if you can make that one or two trips to, to, for the store uh, each week rather than every other day. Uh, see if you can find a way to carpool, to take the bus, to walk, to bike, or to consolidate your trips so that um, if both of you have errands to run, can you go out and do them together? Buy less. And when you do have to buy, buy new, or excuse me, buy used, buy recycles, uh, refurbished. I've gotten some great things refurbished. Or simply see if you can do it without. Buy small. I think we could buy smaller houses and cars and group share RVs, uh, recreational vehicles, boats. Uh, thing about having a smaller house, I live in a very small house, about 450 square feet, um, is my power bill is really low, my uh, gas bill is really low, and so it, it, to me it makes sense for people to only live in as much space as they absolutely need. Uh, recycle. Some members of my family, and I'm sure some of you out there, have not been using the gray, blue, and green bins as you should. And it does take a little extra work to have a sack under your kitchen sink that's got all the paper and the big plastic containers, the heavy ones. And then uh, I got a little tiny garbage can. I use literally grocery sacks from Albertsons, double lined. And it's just in one of those little bathroom cans. And, um, and then I have a bag in back of the sack for all of my plastics because all your uh, really light plastics, those need to go into an orange bag before you put it in the blue bin. And that way there's a better chance of all those things getting recycled best. Slow down on tech. See if you can keep your phone longer than just one year or your PC, your tablet longer. And then we've all got to find ways to recycle our old ones and see if we can get them into the hands of, of um, you know, people in third world countries who don't have a lot of money for that stuff. But, uh, and then finally, uh, conserve your energy use. See if you can use heat, cooling, and lights minimally. Uh, remember that all of our energy use and things come directly from the earth, from natural resources. All our gas, electricity, gasoline, plastics, wood, concrete, electronic components. There are simply too many humans now in excess consumption of these resources for earth to keep up. We must change. We must slow down. We must find green solutions to everything we are currently consuming. Um, and I really hope that we all take this serious because I'm a little concerned as uh, you know, we conquer this virus and we begin to go back to our old patterns. We're gonna continue to see Earth suffer. And God knows, maybe she'll throw something even worse at us if we don't listen this time. That's just a thought. All right, a little snippet I'm gonna do for you is called Rope. <laughs>
All right. I'll see you tomorrow.